Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is a Churchill gun carrier. It's a tier 6 British tank destroyer. It's located on the Eastbourne of Westfield and it's under the command of Ratty87. And I think this um, tank destroyer is, uh, well, it's one of the most uniquely awful tank destroyers in the game. It's a glass cannon. It's got a fantastic gun but an absolutely dreadful amount of armour. Well, as you can see, it says 76.2 millimetres. Now, that actually makes me think that this is the 17-pounder gun in the uh, Churchill gun carrier. It normally carries a 32-pounder, which is capable of 280. This has got 140, which means I think it's the 72-pounder gun. It's got a slightly better fire rate than the 32-pounder. But it's still a terrible tank, whichever way you look at it. It's based on the Churchill hull. But I'm afraid uh, it's got very weak armour. And in fact, most tier 5 tanks can attack and hold this tank destroyer, even though it's tier 6. It's got a 3.74 second reload. Uh, there's a number of enemy tanks over that side. He's having difficulty trying to get a shot at the guys directly in front of him. Yeah, he's probably better off moving up next to this M10 and getting shots on these guys. Okay, tracked him there, or hit, hit the tracks. KV-1 alongside him. Uh, Churchill's now tracked, and now he's getting some damage. The surprising thing is they actually were originally going to build 100 of these but thankfully somebody realized that it was such an awful thing that they narrowed the order down to just 15 and although those were built they never saw service they never went into action because this thing is so dreadfully slow and had such awful armor if it had gone into action i think the germans would have finished it off very very quickly The other thing is that this tank destroyer, you have to play it like a traditional tank destroyer. That is, you have to play it as if it's incredibly delicate and fire from a long way away. Otherwise, the enemy will tear you to shreds. Now, that Churchill's well angled, but he let that round through. And now he's out of the game. So he's got two kills now, which is pretty good. M10's moving off, so that gives us a better chance of getting shots from this angle. I wouldn't get any closer to the enemy because it's just too dangerous. And it looks like the enemy's doing rather well down in the valley, so I think he's going to have to relocate. They do have territory, even though they don't have um, uh, kills at the moment. They're, they're equal on kills. Yes, so it's also got a very narrow firing arc, mainly down to the fact that you see that the the gun is off to one side and the driver's port is off to the other, which is a bit like the Hetzer. has the same problem, that uh, the gun's over one side, which narrows the arc of which the vehicle can fire over. You might get some shots on the enemy... Oh, there's an enemy tank there. I think he's just seen it. The ELC needs to move a bit closer to the edge, but that might cause him problems with gun depression. No, he can get it. It's just got such a narrow arc. You have to take into account. Just didn't pen it with that shot. Oh, and the RT gets the kill. Now, a couple of enemy tanks appeared behind us. The Striv M4257. Which, as you know, in the game, has got the 76mm gun. Not a 57mm gun. Although we're one tank up on the enemy, they're sort of like evenly matched up the hill.
Uh, we've lost one of the ones in the north, so the bad news is now it's just the M10 RBFM against the Jagdpanzer. And there's the Matilda Black Prince. Now, he should be able to pen him inside. Yep, one more shot. Um, we didn't get the kill, but we did take a round from that Matilda for 70 hit points. Yeah, nobody up in the north now at all. And I think that's got the team worried a bit. Yep, they are pinging to pay attention to the north. But Ratty's off on a mission to get to the enemy cap. There's still two Arties on the enemy team. He could take those two out. But it's leaving the KV-220 to protect our cap area. But he has got a tier 7 hull, so... In this tier 6 game, he is going to be slightly stronger. My only concern is that that Striv M4257 and the Jagdpanzer IV between them might be able to handle the KV-220. The Hummel's moving south with us. Or towards us along the edge of the map. No six cents gone off yet, so we know that the enemy hasn't seen us. But if it does go off, the, the big concern is was it the RT or was it one of the other tanks? Well, the Jagdpanzer IV has just been taken out by our M41, which means there's only three enemies left the two RT and that Strid M4257. And the RT are an FB304, and the Strid's been found in the north and he's just been killed. The KV-220 was capable of taking him out. And that means the only other enemies are the Burt, the FP-304 and the M41 HMC. And the... Oh! Now our KV-220 was just taken out by the M41 HMC. And I didn't see any fire from this area. But there he is! He was up on top of the hill. Aim for the body. Not for the gun, because you probably won't hit him if you don't. That's better. And a bit, and again. Got him. The Burt, though. Ah, now he is nearby, because he, he's a short-range RT, so he has to be close by. And I would say he's probably halfway up the hill. Yep, they think that's, well... I wouldn't go chasing him not in a Churchill gun carriage you wouldn't be able to get close to him the Churchill gun carrier I should say is pretty slow <laughs> the Hummel started capping and that's probably a good idea as well because if he caps it's going to force the Burt to try and get resets on him and that might reveal where he is and enable Ratty to get the kill he has to be fairly close to get a shot now, is the Hummel taking fire? That's the question. Yes, there are. there is fire coming in on the Hummel. It's not hitting him yet, but it is landing near him. He's hugging that house for all he can. So the bird must be close. Yep, another round coming in, so I think we might see the arc of that Bert very, very shortly. And they're indicating they think he's in the village. Rounds are still coming in at the Hummel. There he is! One in. Keep going. Oh, he's on fire! Oh, he guts him with the next shot! Four kills. That's quite a good game for a Churchill gun carrier. 
Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's a second class tank for Ratty87 and Churchill Gun Carrier. And it's the first time he's had a second class tanker in this one. In fact, actually, he said, uh, not the best in the world, but I have done this with this. <laughs> Yes, I know it is. It is a stock, actually. I think he's got the 17-pounder. Um, it's a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four exactly, and a five for, for doing more damage to the hit points to his own vehicle. He got a Pescucci's because he killed both the enemy RT, the FB 304 and the M41, and won the game for his team. Let's have a look at team score. Well, he did get the highest damage on his own team, but not the highest damage overall. The high caliber went to the Strip M4257 with 1,647, and then came Ratty with 1,224, and after that it was the FP304 with 1,069. When it came to kills, he had the highest number with four. Three kills went to the M41 HMC, the Hummel, on his own team, and three kills to the Strip M4257. And when it came to base XP, he's got the top in that one as well, 712. 690 goes to the Panzer Mark IV H, and 621 goes to the M41 HMC, and our M10 managed to get a Confederate during that game, even though he was wiped out. He fired 19 rounds, got 13 direct hits and 10 penetrations, damage of 1,224 hit points, of which 586 were at more than 300 meters. He received two hits. One was penetration, that was from the um, Matilda Black Prince, and one hit by way of splash damage from the uh, FB304. He spotted two enemy vehicles, both the RT, seven enemy vehicles damaged, four killed, and 32 hit points of damage assistance. He earned 79,567 credits on a premium count, and after repair and ammunition respy, took away 25,414 credits. He received 31 bonds for that battle, and 1,068 XP, 2,136 for completing the mission and events, this was uh, at the turn of the year, and 3,204 experience points altogether. In fact, actually, it wasn't turn of the year, it was actually in April, 6th of April, but it's been sitting in the in the list waiting to be done. So, uh, a win eighth in the game of 3,403, which is not bad, considering this is a stock tank destroyer, but it is um, really the most difficult uh, tank destroyer in the game to play I think really that even even more difficult than the Hetzer or any of the others because it is just so terrible and I think that's one of the reasons why so few people go near it and it, it is actually easier to get an ace tanker in a vehicle that people just don't like to play simply because so few actually do play it the standard is very very low <laughs> so if you want to get an ace tanker buy one of these and you can ace it in next to no time at all or at least you probably will anyway you'll probably hate every moment of it and you'll curse me for suggesting it but you will get an ace tanker eventually if you enjoyed this replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.